Oh my gosh, was that the doorbell? Nova, I think my dog Martins are here. Let's go check. What did you guys think of that acting performance? I ordered these Doc Martens like a month ago online and they just came in. They were having like back order because of uh, uh, Christmas stuff, but they finally came in and they're a beautiful look. I got the, I'll put the style number and everything like right here in the description. They are the 1460 Bex Smooth, Black Smooth. This is my first pair of Doc Martens and I, like obviously they're still a basic shoe. I wanted something a little bit different so I got the platform ones. I'm really excited. I've wanted them for so long. I've had like two pairs of the knockoff ones and I'm like at this point it would have been the same price as just a real pair that lasts forever. So basically this video is going to be showing you how to break in Doc Martens because I tried them on and they are so stiff. I'm like I cannot wear these without them breaking my the top of my ankle in half because like they're so stiff at the top it was like cutting in my foot also i decided that i want to do the 12 days of vlogmas so i'm gonna post a video every single day leading up until christmas for like the 12 days leading up until christmas this is gonna be 12 days of vlogmas day two um so if you want to see the rest of my videos or see the one that i posted yesterday we're gonna hope that i posted it because it's the 11th so it hasn't started yet um i'm getting a little bit of a head start so we're just gonna search on the internet how to break in doc Martins. I'm kind of confused what because Doc Martins like they're called Dr. Martins So I'm like is everyone just calling them Doc Martins or like is that also a name for it? I don't know good question. I feel like that'd be something that girls are like oh conspiracy theory Don't you remember them being called Doc Martins, but they're actually Dr. Martins. <laughs> it's like doctor like short for doc, you know how to break in your Doc Martins 11 steps with pictures Step one buy Doc Martins in the right size they tr tend to run true to size. Okay, I got a size 8. That's my shoe size. Um, boots in the right size should feel tight but not uncomfortable. If shoes feel immediately uncomfortable when you try on, especially in width, it is too small. Okay, we're going to try my shoes. Sorry, this is probably annoying in the way, but I wanted the good lighting. What you got to do for good lighting, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, I jammed the paper back in them. See? I, they haven't been unboxed yet. So I guess step one is put your shoes on and make sure that they're the right size. Before... You do all the other steps and break them in. Step two, I'm already doing this wrong. You try the shoes on, check. They're the right size. Step two, put on a pair of thick socks. Bad to go do that, check. Step three, have not checked that yet. We're gonna walk around for 10 minutes inside my house. Okay, I'm gonna go get socks. Hi, Key, just walking to my room with them was uncomfortable because they're so not broken in. So I have these thick Christmas socks, nice and knitted. So we're gonna put these on over my regular socks. Now we're gonna take off the other shoe. Do the same thing, put on the socks. <clears throat> Good thing I'm doing this because there's no way you can just wear these out in public without like doing anything. The back of it is so structured that like when I stand up, it like, it feels like I have ankle braces on. If you spray in your ankle, just get some dog parts and you should be good. Okay, so we're gonna walk around. We're gonna walk around for five to 10 minutes just around my house. Come with me, let's go. Come along for the ride. These boots are made for walking, and that's just what they'll do. One of these days, these boots are gonna walk all over you. We're gonna do a little fashion walk in them. They sound like, um, in like SpongeBob or like a cartoon, when like a cartoon where like an octopus or something like sucks to the ground and it keeps walking, it goes like that, ready? They're literally so squeaky. If Santa wore these boots, every single child would wake up. He would not get away. Let's sneak it through the chimney with these on. I'm gonna walk around for like five to 10 more minutes and I'll come back to you for step number four. Okay, I've been walking around my house for like 10 minutes and my dog, she's back there somewhere. She's literally so scared of them. Anytime I get near her, she's like, she like curls up. I think it's because of squeaking and because they're just so big and clunky. She doesn't like it. But anyway, um, so next step, what we're going to do is wherever the stiff spots are, okay? My stiff spots are like, I can feel it. They're like back in the heel. We're just going to do a little bit of movement. We're just going to move around a little bit. Um, I'll set up the camera. We're just going to do some ankle exercises and try to loosen them up a little bit. So we're going to do a little... Stand and bend, or do a little wiggling, bend and touch action, and just keep doing this. Just keep stretching out. What are these called? The little, I don't even remember what these are called. I used to do them in lacrosse. Cue the stretching ankle montage.
Where's my water? I need a water break. If you need a water break in the middle of this, feel free to take a break, sit back, get a drink. Oh, here's my water. Um, what step are we on? Step number six. The next step is to bring heat into it. So I've heard people say go out in the sun and like leave them out there. But we're gonna speed the process up a little bit. We're gonna get the hair dryer. So let's head to my mom's bathroom. The actual important thing with these is you have to be patient. Like majority of breaking them in is just gonna be walking around with them over time. But I'm just speeding it up a little bit. So we're basically gonna take the hair dryer and we're gonna blow dry for about like 30 seconds. Make sure you do it a couple feet away so you don't damage the leather. We're just gonna blow dry for a couple seconds. Um, areas where it feels tight. So I'm gonna blow dry my heel area for about 30 seconds, just far away. We're gonna get it heated up. And then we're gonna go walk around in them while they're heated up until they cool down. And it's supposed to like help stretch them out. So I'm just gonna blow dry them. Now that they've both been heated up while they're still slightly warm, we're gonna walk back out in my house. We're gonna walk around a little bit more in them. This is just help loosen them up. We're back. Why is the lighting so, it's so cool toned. Anyway, um, my boots are now cooled down. I'm not gonna lie, they definitely feel loosened up. They were so tight when I first put them on. Um, the toes still feel really, really tight, so I think that's gonna be like, they say you can hammer it, so feel free to hammer it if you want, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna do a little massaging. We're gonna do maybe a little bit of toe hitting. Um, step nine is optional if you want. You can hammer the shoes. The last and final step, step 10, would just be to wear them out and about. And, there, and eventually, after the blisters and after some punching and hammering, they should be worn in. A lot of people are probably gonna be getting Doc Martens for Christmas, so hopefully you'll find this video and find it helpful. I'm telling you, wearing two pairs of thick socks helps a lot because it stretches them without giving you blisters. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video watching me blister my feet and break my Doc Martens. And if you enjoyed, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>